we're getting smaller. It's basic math. We are shrinking in terms of our share in the world, our share of population, share of GDP, share of defense spending, development spending. That's okay. It's not our fault. The rest of the world is rising, which is a good thing. But it means we need to adapt and adopt a bit more of small power thinking. We like to think of ourselves as a middle power. I kind of like to be a small power. I want to be more like Israel and Singapore. They can be very nimble and agile, dip in and out of various relationships and ensure that their interests are always being advanced. They use their expat networks in a fantastic way. I'll get to some examples of that. But they think of a small power where they need to rely on others. It isn't just the government showing up because the government of Singapore, who's going to listen to them? They've got to use all the networks they can to leverage, uh, leverage that. So that takes me to reason number two. We live in an age of networks. We have shifted from an era of institutions to an age of networks. We still have institutions, they still matter. The United Nations still and should matter. It just doesn't matter as much or it matters different than it did uh, certainly from the time I was growing up. Networks, people networks are much more powerful uh, in many ways than institutions today. If you look at this year, at 2020, among the most powerful forces in the world this year, other than the virus, are Black Lives Matter. That's a network. Greta Thunberg, a network. These are not institutions, but they are more powerful than multinational corporations. That's actually a good thing. This is people power in a very positive way. So how do we start to plug into those networks and particularly develop Canadian networks, expat networks, global networks that can ensure Canada's interests in the world are, uh, are excelling. It means we have to kind of think beyond geography uh, and surely this crisis, the pandemic has taught us to liberate ourselves a bit from uh, geography so we can have conversations like this. But it also means that we have to get much shrewder with the power of exponential thinking. And many Canadians in the Valley helped me really come to grips with exponential thinking. It's the power of 10, of 10xing. And as a country, we need to think of the power of exponential power the way that Israel does. When a Canadian leaves Canada, it's not a loss of one unless we let it be. It's a gain of 10 because that person is going to connect our country if we're strategic with 10 more people. And that becomes a power of 100, 1,000, and so on. Exponential power. That's the uh, age, of, uh, age of network thinking. Number three, we need to be using these networks for our advantage to plug into global intelligence. I came across so many really interesting Canadians who are dying to help our country. There's a wonderful woman in Silicon Valley, Shona Brown, who was one of the top executives at Google. She wants a low profile. I <laughs> do, do a lot of convincing to get her to talk to me for the book. Shona is one of the most connected people in the Valley. She's retired from, uh, from Google, but still very active. And, and no one has ever called her up, even though people in the know know who she is, to say, Shona, what should we be thinking about in terms of our network strategy as a country, in terms of our tech strategy as, uh, as a country? Uh, Chamath Pulapatia, an incredible Canadian in the Valley, one of the early Facebook uh, executives who runs his own uh, social uh, investment fund called Social Capital, incredibly influential and big thinking guy with contacts all over the world and investing in sustainable enterprises. Again, no one's really reaching out to him saying, Chamath, how do we position Canada in, uh, in, in the world? Um, so how do we use these networks, not just for the sake of networking uh, and getting Canada's messages out there, but to get that intel coming back to us to understand the world? It's almost like a free consulting uh, service. 